How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I'm out in the garden. I'm actually doing a little build here in the school bus. Um, kind of made it livable a couple years ago when I got it originally, and then kind of ceased construction on a lot of things. It was kind of left half done, but kind of gotten back around to kind of improving it. Uh, in previous videos, you might you can find the uh, when we built this original kitchen counter space, we just had an old enamel sink for the sink, so I replaced that recently, and this has been a lot better. And when I did that, the kitchen ended right here, and I extended it over here, did this cool butcher block end grain countertop. Also did that over here, kind of redid the whole stove um, stove platform and cabinets. I still needed to put a door on that, so there's still lots to do, but added wood back behind. We got a little snow the other night, last night. Um, and so I added this butcher block and grain over here as well. This side's got purple heart and some other types of wood. That one is Gonkala and Wengi. Then I also built this framework above the fridge. So this was all just kind of the fridge platform. Things got thrown about right here. So tidied this up. This still needs to be done. This uh, end grain. But yeah, added a lot more kitchen space. So it's nice doing some home improvement. This has all been the same since it was originally done a few years ago. And then this couch was originally a lot larger, and I, we never really used it, so I shrunk it down. Still need to do cushions and whatnot there. Probably do another seat here. Wood stove. I don't know if this has been in any videos. Did a mosaic there. Got our little dining table area. The table actually folds down. It's on this hinged leg. And this is the uh, project of today. Or, well, we did this little base yesterday. So, pretty simple, just there's a little rail back there. That was where the seats were attached to the bus. And I like using this old plywood. That was the original floor in the bus. And it just bolts on right back there on that rail. Add a couple legs, and under here is actually going to be like a little cubby for the for the little pups. I don't know if these guys have been in videos either. This is Peanut. He's he's the older one. And this is the new little guy, Ugwe. If you've ever seen Kung Fu Panda, it's little master Ugwe. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, we'll get on with this build. And if you didn't realize what I'm doing, I'm setting up an aquarium. I've had reef tanks in the past, and I've always really liked them, so I decided I'd set up a little nano system. It's going to be an 11-gallon system, so that's one 5.5-gallon tank. And I'm going to be building a little platform up right above it. And another tank's going to be right above, and it's going to be like a display refugium. So stay tuned and see how it turns out. So these pieces of wood are going to be the legs for that little platform I was talking about for the second tank. These two are lace wood. This one's purple heart. And this one is some sort of really figured tiger striped kind of looks like maple but I don't know it's kind of more yellowy or orangey and it's got this killer live edge it's going to be kind of right in the front so I'm going to clean cut these to length and clean them up sand them up and then start building the framework here's the four legs all cleaned up just with a little water on them Cool wood. 
figure's crazy. And then just this live edge is killer. Kind of like old driftwood, but with a <laughs> gorgeous twist. have it. Almost finished it today. I uh, broke a driver bit in one of these finish screws that I was using for these little supports. So I'm gonna do some more in the back on the top right there. The front's all gonna remain open as well as the side. So yeah, slide the tank in there. Get it. Get a better idea. Maybe grab the other one, throw it on top. Get an idea of what it's gonna look like. All right, it's actually the next night. I worked today, so I didn't get much done on the build, but I did get a chance before I went to work this morning to put finish on these hardwood uh, posts. This is that live edge. Um, just did simple Vaseline. Nothing crazy. Let it soak in all day. Wiped it off. Probably come back and buff them with some uh, bronze wool. This is just the uh, the rough edge of the wood that my dad has. <clears throat> that was cut a long time ago. It got all dark. So I just kind of wanted to leave it a little rustic. This one's got plenty of cracks in it, but gives it some character. And all the structural integrity was there, so... Went ahead and used them. But yeah, they came out pretty cool. Also got the lights set up. There's the upper tank. Coming along nicely. All right, so it's been a couple days. Get back working on this project, and I, uh, like I said, I was doing a refugium, so the top tank water pumped into it and it's gonna have some overflows that I just drilled out. So I got this diamond glass bit, full saw bit on uh, eBay. Same with um, the uh, fittings, I'm, the overflow fittings I'm gonna be using. And I uh, drilled them out already but I just wanted to show you kind of how I did it, you know. Put some water on it, have water flowing on it. And I did this, made this little jig so I drilled out the same sized hole with a wood bit and then clip. so this slips right in there so you don't have to worry about it moving around and so I just clamped that on there with a piece of wood on the back side as well just to support it and take this off now I think it came out pretty good and there you have it there's my holes cracks. Very happy about that. I'm gonna go get it all plumbed and put it inside. But holes came out pretty good. This one's really good, not perfect. And then this one, fortunately, got a little... not wanting to focus on it, but oh, there we go. Nope. Right here. There's a little tiny crack that started coming out, and you can see it kind of chipped a little. But overall, I'm happy. First time drilling glass. And uh, there's the fittings that go in there, so this will go on the inside. And this will be on the outside, drain down. Just a little filter for the interior. So yeah, there's gonna be two of them. And since they're just overflow, hopefully that crack won't really be an issue because it's 
below where the water line will be anyways. So yeah, water will be pumped from this tank down here, up into this one, and then it'll flow back down. So I'm nearing the end of the project. I'm hoping today I'm gonna run to the couple of fish stores nearby and pick up some live rock and salt, all the last things I need to finally get this set up. But anyways, I got some outlets back here. Ran from over there. One last look at the framework. This will eventually be closed off like a cabinet. Um, this is gonna get mosaic, I think I mentioned earlier. Here's the uh, overflow fittings attached to the holes. So I got two of them, in case one clogs or something. Won't end up with a fish tank on my floor. And then also just to kind of drain from either side of the tank. They're gonna drain down here. Got my light all set up. And everything's looking nice, coming along nicely. I just have these last couple support, corner supports to put in. I have the ones on the ground almost finished. I'm gonna put them up there in those, on those two sides. And then the last thing I'm gonna do today before I stock it is I don't really want to put a lid on the tank, and so I'm going to mount these pieces of hardwood right up here. And then they'll just float right above the rim of the tank, keep the fish from jumping out. I'm going to cut little slats in them so that they uh, allow some airflow. And then I'm going to have a little hinged door right here on the front. It's going to be pretty nice. All right, this is gonna be the end of this video. This is the final setup. Well, almost final setup, just as far as the lighting and the, I have the water pumping from this tank up into here, coming in in the corner. Then it overflows at those over two, over at those two bulkheads and comes down in those pipes there. So it's circulating through right now, cycling the tanks. And in a couple days, I'll be filling this one with some little creatures, live rock, live sand. And yeah, it's exciting. This will be the main reef system. Probably get a uh, mantis shrimp to live in this refugium, but for now, little damsel's doing good. Named him Buford, even though probably won't keep him for long, because if you've ever kept fish, you know they're turned to little assholes. So, uh... Yeah, that's the end of this one. Uh, thanks for watching this far, if you watched the whole thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this little nano system's coming out. And if you want to see what I stock the main tank with, uh, check back soon. Have a good one.